Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are on the river in the southern desert, just to the east of Narrow Neck Span, making an Aquilonian bathhouse. This build was suggested by Ash the Gamer on my Ketan Jungle Home build video, so thank you very much for the suggestion, Ash. This build is aiming to be a luxurious bathhouse with a more upper class feel. Bathhouses were traditionally used as places of public hygiene, however there were also plenty of private bathhouses that some more affluent members of society used so they didn't have to bathe with the common folk. This build is aimed to be one of those private bathhouses, with a unique design that focuses on a very open air style of build with a large amount of natural light and a connection to nature throughout the structure. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly we're going to start off with of course the base plate. This is a pretty strange shape for a base plate, as you can see in the blueprint, but it will make sense. Seeing as this is an Aquilonian build, we'll of course be using Aquilonian square and wedge foundations. At first I am going to build the main body of the foundations as one solid piece, then later removing the foundations as per the blueprint to create the two main baths within the main body of the bathhouse itself. Next for the walls. Firstly, I place down two gateways at either side of the southernmost side of the build. Gates are of course four tiles high in total, so I built walls around the rest of the main body of the bathhouse to this height, using a format of windows either side between regular wall pieces on the larger sections of the walls. I also built walls to encase the two extending sections on either side of the build facing north. I would later be using these as mounts to put the roof on. Next for the roof. We'll be starting with the roof above the northern section of the bathhouse first. This roof is somewhat different from most of the roofs I've constructed. The two inner extended sections have completely different clipping areas than the two outer extending sections do, meaning it's impossible to support the roof completely using pillars. Therefore, the roof is not actually able to meet in the middle, so to create the roof I decided for an open air design. I removed one tile of walls on either side of the extended sections, then placing down slope sides to mount the roof onto. I ran the rooftop pieces up about four tiles high, placing a ceiling at the top of each rooftop piece. I then used slope sides, inverted slope sides and ramps to make a thicker section of the edge of the build that will make the roof seem a little bit more sturdy. I then ran the rooftops back to the main body of the build, leaving a large gap in the roof of roughly about three tiles in width. It actually worked quite well in allowing natural light into the build, especially over the larger open water bath. I then gave the southern part of the roof the same treatment as the northern, making it thicker to make the roof seem stronger.
next for the partial roof over the main body of the bathhouse. This is probably the most difficult part of this build and it took me a while to get correct. First, I used wedge and regular ceilings above the four tile high walls, mirroring the layout of the foundations below in a border around the walls. Again, you can't really cover the entirety of the main body of the bathhouse, as I originally intended to, due to a variety of clipping areas that don't work well with each other. However, this sort of partial roof design actually worked quite well. Once I'd mirrored the foundations with the ceilings, I then tried to construct the roof. I say tried because it took around 30 minutes to finally get right, and gave me horrible, horrible flashbacks of the witch's house build. However, you should be able to get it right from the video. The exact sort of structure is difficult to kind of explain, but if you look at it, it kind of makes sense as to how it works. In the end, this roof design is quite complicated, but actually looks quite nice and complements the large gap in the northern roof rather well. Finally, I place fences around the extended foundations and the open water baths to the north. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, the gates are presided over by large Aquilonian statues. The entire build is also lit with Aquilonian wall torches. Entering through the front gate, the bathhouse is an expansive structure that features natural light throughout. The first bath is a smaller pool near the front of the build, able to fit maybe 5 or 6 people comfortably. On either side to the west and the east of the build are sitting areas with Aquilonian divans, designed to be a comfortable area for people to sit and chat whilst not using the baths.
The next bath is slightly bigger than the first, with an Aquilonian statue in the middle. This bath is also deeper than the first and can probably house a couple more people. Next for the open water baths. These baths are protected on the sides by fences with Aquilonian flags at either end of the extensions. The western and eastern baths are slightly more narrow in size, with the central bath being the largest and deepest. With these baths being connected directly to the river itself, it suits the theme of an inclusion of nature, with the roof being directly connected to the sky and the baths being directly connected to the open water. And there we have it, an Aquilonian bathhouse in the southern desert. Thanks again to Ash the Gamer for today's build suggestion. It was fun trying to build something that I haven't actually done yet with a unique design. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know if you have any future build suggestions in the comments below. Any suggestions are very much welcome. Don't forget to join our Discord through the link in the description. And if you want to, you can help to support the future of this channel through my Patreon, link also down in the description. Don't forget to check out the content on the channel whilst you're there. There is plenty more Conan Exiles content coming, so if you're enjoying the videos make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.